Good morning. God bless you. Oh, I hope that Mary's head's not cut off here. Let's see. Might have to rearrange. Oh, you can see her. Perfect. Right? I wanted to sit here by my image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel because she has such a beautiful crown and today is the queenship of Our Lady. And I put here the icon that I painted of the queenship of Our Lady a few years ago. And then here to my left, I grabbed Our Lady of La Salette because she's also wearing a crown, a beautiful golden crown, and she's got a crown of roses, and yet she's weeping. She feels those thorns. And she appeared weeping in France over the sin of the world. And so Our Lady is a queen, a queen of love, a queen that reigns, but also a queen of sorrow. As she suffers with Jesus for us. So I should move my coffee that's kind of blocking it. That's a, a quick place, right? So um, we're going to honor her in such a special way today. I have such a devotion to Our Lady as Queen. And in fact, um, this new book that I wrote on the infant sorrowful and immaculate heart of Our Lady, House of Gold, where you can consecrate yourself to Our Lady, especially as an infant. There's a whole chapter in Our Lady as our queen. And so what I thought that I would do is in between the decades this morning, I'll read some of the quotes that I included there from the saints and the popes about Our Lady as our queen, as we honor her. And then at the end of the rosary, as always, we'll pray the prayers to the Holy Spirit because it's Monday, right? We can add something else for Our Lady, too. So you have just a minute to get your coffee and your rosary. We're going to pray for the world. I want to ask prayers for a young mom who's most likely losing a baby and very ill herself for total healing, for miracles. I want to pray for a man, a priest, who's been falsely accused of some things and suffering terribly, for justice, for comfort, for healing, for grace to come from that suffering. I'd like to pray for all those who've fallen from the faith, to reprioritize their life, to see with the eyes of God, to have a longing for him. For children who've been spiritually neglected or abused, to be healed and be drawn into the embrace of God's love. We continue to pray for all of the miraculous work being done through the Fiat Foundation all over the world. For the work, the pro-life work in Pakistan, and I'll be able to print some more of that holiness of womanhood and hopefully out of the darkness that they use so powerfully to stop abortions with babies. If you'd like to be part of that work, I'm still taking some donations. I would love to include your generosity in their gift for the work in Pakistan upholding the church, for the work in Nigeria. Same thing. There's so many. There's a priest killed in Abuja yesterday, I was told. And we're trying to print two books there, especially of the Children of the Cross prayer groups that will pray for the persecuted priests. If you'd like to be part of that, please, 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 today, send me a good donation. That will be so helpful. We pray for our work in Uganda. We're about to start in Uganda with the holiness of womanhood. To, and they're going to use it in pro-life work. In Colombia, 
and Mexico, Brazil, Peru, Belize. We pray for a vendor in Poland and my upcoming pilgrimage that God opens powerful doors for Russia, the conversion of Russia, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, and for Russian translations for our work in India, here in the United States. And if there's any open doors into Nicaragua, I would love to get my Spanish book about, in the shadow of Our Lady, the spirituality of praying for priests. I would love to get my um, Spanish version of that into the lay faithful and the sisters in Nicaragua to pray for their poor bishops and their priests and seminarians that are under house arrest and being persecuted. If you know any Nicaraguan communities in the United States or Spanish communities that would be interested in that book and starting these prayer groups in Our Lady's shadow under her intercession. She was the first prayer warrior for the apostles and Jesus, right? Please contact me. We pray for those we work for and with. Pray for all those that we've served, our families, for healing for those who are sick, conversion for those who are hard, unity for those who have chosen to be divided or divisive. Pray for broken marriages. Pray for those who are ill, especially for children, for Levi, for Liam, for Colton, for Jonathan, for Aubrey. We pray for those in orphanages. We pray for the group in Pakistan doing this consecration house of gold to the infant heart of Mary, and they'll be making a big pilgrimage on September 8th to a shrine for their protection for powerful fruit. We pray for all of your personal intentions, my intentions, all of our needs, right? My broken fridge, all of the different things that we spin our wheels with every day trying to fix that fall through, right? Um, from end to dishonesty in this world. Boy, oh boy. Um, and then for all of the intentions of these pages in any way, for your children, your spouses, right? For the elderly, for a, um, a younger man, He's not young, but he's that old who's dying right now for his soul, for his family. We pray for um, people with Alzheimer's and dementia, those who struggle with mental illness, temptations, oppression in any way. So many needs in the world. And for those who are desiring to conceive, desiring to get married, that the Lord bring them spouses, those who are desiring to adopt, for those in foster care. We ask Our Lady to be our Queen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the final union, the union of all Christians for all of the intentions of my heart and for our final union with you in heaven, amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. We pray that prayer of Jabez, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for the Pope and for the Cardinals, for the Archbishops, Bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their continued protection and conversion, their intentions for humility and integrity and faithfulness to the church, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage, fortitude, mercy, and love, authentic love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We're going to pray the joyful mysteries today. And the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And this mystery we meditate on, Our Lady is our Queen. St. John Damascene said that when Our Lady became Mother of the Creator, she truly became the Queen of every creature. Do we live like she's our Queen? And St. Maximilian Kolbe wrote beautifully about Our Lady as our Queen. Queen of Heaven and Earth. In a loving family, the parents fulfill the desire of their children in all that is humanly possible, provided, of course, that what they ask be not harmful to them. All the more, Almighty God, the creator and model of earthly parents, desires to fully satisfy the will of his creatures to the extent that what they will is not harmful to them. That is to the extent that it's in keeping with his will. The Immaculata never departed from anything that God's will demanded. In all things, she loved the will of God, and she loved God. Hence, she is rightly called the Omnipotent Beseecher, and has influence with God over the whole of the universe, for she is its queen in heaven and on earth. In heaven, all recognize her, say of love, her way of love. And that portion of the angels who would not recognize her queenship lost their place in heaven. She is also the queen of the earth, for she is the mother of God. She desires and has a right to be freely recognized by every creature, by every heart, and to be loved as queen of all hearts, so that through her hearts would be cleansed and themselves become immaculate similar and like unto her own heart, and so worthy of union with God and with the divine love of the sacred heart. We call her mother, but an earthly mother is not free of limitations, for even the law must sometimes protect children with respect to their parents. Meanwhile, she is a mother without stain, immaculate indeed, and any reservation or restriction on the part of her children would rightly cause her ineffable pain and sadness. 
We call her Our Lady, but that concept may draw us away from her maternal heart. We call her Queen, but here too, we must be careful to add of all hearts, Queen of Love, her, heart, her law is that of love, and her power is maternal love. The Annunciation of the Angel to Our Lady, asking her to become the Mother of Christ, asking her to be our Queen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is the visitation of Our Lady to St. Elizabeth. Our Lady was a queen, but she was a queen who serves, right? We see that in the visitation. We read from St. Alphonsus Liguori in his book, The Glory of Mary. The church honors the Virgin Mary with the glorious title of queen because she has been elevated to the dignity of the mother of the king of kings. If the son is king, says St. Athanasius, 
his mother must necessarily be considered queen. From the moment that Mary consented to become the mother of the eternal word, she merited the title of queen of the world and of all creatures. If the flesh of Mary, says St. Arnold, was the flesh of Jesus, how can the mother be separated from the son in his kingdom? It thus follows that the regal glory must not only be considered as common to the mother and the son, but must even be the same. Mary then is queen, but let all learn from their consolation that she is a mild and a merciful queen, desiring the good of all sinners. Therefore the church salutes her in prayer, naming her the queen of mercy. The very name of queen signifies, as Albert the Great remarks, compassion and provision for the poor, differing in this from the title of empress, which signifies severity and rigor. The greatness of kings and queens consists in comforting the wretched, so that whereas tyrants have their only advantage in view, kings should be concerned with the good of their subjects. Therefore, at the consecration of kings, their heads are anointed with oil, which is a symbol of mercy, to denote that in ruling, they should always show kindness and goodwill toward their subjects. Kings then should principally occupy themselves with works of mercy, but they should not neglect the exercise of justice toward the guilty when it's required. But Mary is not a queen of justice, intent on the punishment of the guilty, but rather a queen of mercy, intent only on compassion and pardon for sinners. Accordingly, the church calls her queen of mercy. These two things which I heard, that power belongs to God, and yours, O Lord, is kindness, the psalmist says. The Lord has divided the kingdom of God into two parts, justice and mercy. He's reserved the kingdom of justice for himself and has granted the kingdom of mercy to Mary. St. Thomas confirms this when he says that the Holy Virgin, when she consented to be the mother of the Redeemer, obtained half the kingdom of God by becoming the queen of mercy, while Jesus remained the king of justice. Is there anyone who does not know the power of Mary's prayer with God? Every prayer of hers is like a law that mercy shall be given to those for whom she intercedes. St. Bernard asks why the church names Mary Queen of Mercy. It's because we believe that she obtains the mercy of God for all who seek it, so that not even the greatest sinner is lost if Mary protects him. But some might think that Mary hesitates in pleading on behalf of some sinners because she finds them so sinful. Should the majesty and sanctity of this great queen alarm us? No, says Gregory the Great. In proportion to her greatness and holiness are her clemency and mercy towards sinners who wish to repent and have a recourse to her. Kings and queens inspire terror by the display of their majesty, and their subjects are afraid to go before them. But what fear, says St. Bernard, can sinners have of going to this queen of mercy, since she never shows herself austere to those who seek her, but is always gentle and kind. The Visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria Vlagerati Polnaya Gaspot Staboyo. Vlagoslavia Natimia Shtajonami. I Vlagoslavia Mplodchereva Tvayevo Isus. Svetaya Maria Mater Boja. Malisa Nas Krishni. Nini Vchas Mirti Nashi Amen. Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabam, Bogoswavio Nashtimians and Avastami, I Bogoswavioni Ovot Shavota Tvayego Jesus, 
Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Murlsha, Zanami Gzeshnami, Terasiv Gojina, I Shmerchi Nashi Ana, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagada ti polnaya, gaspodsta boyo, blagoslavia na ti miestajonami, I blagoslavien plodšereva Tvajevo Isus, Svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, Malisa nas grešni, Nini v čas smerti naši, Amen. Poleš, Strovaš Marija u vaski pauna, Pan s tabom, Bogoslavionaš ti mjenze nevastami, I bogoslavioni ovoč života Tvajego Jezus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Murlše za nami kšešnimi, teraz i v godina i šmirči naši, amen, spanish. Dios te salve Maria, jena reis de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, Ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor, Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori. Adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus teca, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. In this mystery, we meditate on that littleness, that humility of the Holy Family in Bethlehem. Here, Our Lady is the Queen of Heaven and Earth. Jesus is Christ the King. Joseph is the husband of the Queen and the father of the King. And yet, look at their poverty. Look at their littleness. Look at their mercy and their love. The quote that we'll read about the Queenship of Mary for this decade is from Therese of Lisieux, who's known as um, you know, the, the master of the spirituality of littleness, right? And St. Therese of Lisieux in her last confidences spoke about Our Lady as the Queen Mother of Mercy. 
She said, Mary then is the queen, but queen in the way of a mother, serving all of her children, guiding them in their most personal and intimate life, not so much by law and precept as by kindly prompting and persuading with an affectionate smile on her countenance as she goes about bestowing a mother's tender care on all her children, on the lowliest, no less than on the more fortunate. In fact, the more humble and lowly her children, the more mother she is to them. The more we put ourselves in Mary's guiding care, the more quickly that she can lead us up to God. In union with Christ, Mary guides the entire church militant on the road to the city of God, but Mary's rule is marked above all by the supreme grace of her motherhood. She rules and directs souls with the power of a mother's smile and the irresistible attraction of a mother's sweetness. With a mother's intuition, she is ever alert, one might say, to yield to the supremely sovereign and kingly action of her son, keeping herself in the background. For even in her own sovereign rule over the universe, Mary is more mother than queen. In this mystery, let's ask Our Lady, as a mother and a queen, to look over especially the persecuted church, the priests and the religious, that are suffering. We remember our own people in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nigeria, but that prayer extends out to Nicaragua today. And we pray that she open a door for me somehow to reach the laity in Nicaragua, or maybe here with my book on In Our Lady's Shadow about the spirituality of praying for priests, upholding them, so I can get some prayer groups started amongst the Hispanics. I can get them those books and have them begin to pray for the bishops and the priests and seminarians in Nicaragua to offer this mystery for them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee.
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of Our Lady in the temple, I'm sorry, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. But in this mystery, Our Lady was told by Simeon, you yourself, a sword shall pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts would be revealed. It was prophesied that she would suffer, that she would weep over the sins of her children and for the suffering of her children. She weeps over Nicaragua. She weeps over the Ukraine. She weeps over the apathetic souls in the United States. And she's a mother in her queenship. And so what mother doesn't suffer for their child? Pope John Paul II in 1997 spoke in his audience about the important role of Our Lady as our queen explaining how her queenship doesn't take priority over her role as a mother, but it ennobles it, raising her maternity to a greater glory. It's real beautiful. He said, this is St. Pope John Paul II, the Great, popular devotion invokes Mary as queen. The council, after recalling the assumption of the Blessed Virgin in body and soul into heavenly glory, explains that she was exalted by the Lord as queen over all things, that she might be more fully conformed to her son, the Lord of lords, and the conqueror of sin and death. That's from Lumen Gentium. In fact, starting from the 5th century, almost in the same period in which the Council of Ephesus proclaims her mother of God, the title of queen begins to be attributed to her with this further recognition of her sublime dignity, the Christian people want to place her above all creatures, exalting her role and importance in the life of every person and of the whole world. But already a fragment of a homily attributed to Origen contains this comment on the words that Elizabeth spoke at the visitation. It is I who should have come to visit you because you are blessed above all women, Elizabeth said. You are the mother of my Lord. You are my lady. The text passes spontaneously from the expression, the mother of my Lord, to the title, my lady, anticipating what St. John Damascene was later to say, attributing to Mary the title of sovereign. When she became the mother of the creator, he said, she truly became the queen of all creatures. John Paul II said, my venerable predecessor, Saint, or Pope Pius XII, indicates the basis for Mary's queenship in addition to her motherhood, her cooperation in the work of redemption. 
It recall the encyclical that he wrote recalls the text. There was Saint Mary, Queen of Heaven and Sovereign of the world, sorrowing near the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then it establishes an analogy between Mary and Christ, which helps us to understand the significance of the Blessed Virgin's royal status. Christ is King not only because he is the son of God, but also because he's the redeemer. Mary is a queen, not only because she's the mother of God, but also because associated as the new Eve with the new Adam, she cooperated in the work of redemption of the human race. In Mark's gospel, we read that on the day of the ascension, the Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God the Father. In biblical language, to sit at the right hand of God means sharing his sovereign power. Sitting at the right hand of the Father, he establishes his kingdom, God's kingdom. And then taken up into heaven, Mary is associated with the power of her son, is dedicated to the extension of the kingdom, sharing in the diffusion of divine grace in the world. When we look at at the analogy between Christ's ascension and Mary's assumption, we can conclude that Mary, in independence on Christ, is the queen who possesses and exercises over the universe the sovereignty granted her by her son. The title of queen does not, of course, replace that of mother. Her queenship remains a corollary of her particular maternal mission and simply expresses the power conferred on her to carry that out. Paul the Ninths, or Saint, I'm sorry, Pope Pius the Ninths, um, encyclical, I can't figure out what it is, um, wrote that Mary, having a motherly affection for us, and being concerned for our salvation extends her care to the whole human race. Appointed by the Lord as queen of heaven and earth, raised above all the choirs of angels and the whole celestial hierarchy of saints, sitting at the right hand of her only son, our Lord Jesus Christ, she obtains with great certainty what she asks with her motherly prayers. She obtains what she seeks and it cannot be denied her. Therefore, Christians look with trust to Mary as our queen. And this does not diminish, but it exalts instead their filial abandonment to her, who is also a mother in the order of grace. He goes on, but I read that long meditation because in this mystery, this fourth joyful mystery, we have to be inspired with that kind of confidence that Mary is our mother and our queen. And everything that we present to her in this mystery, she can and will intercede for us at, this, at the throne of God in heaven. And because of that, there's nothing to fear. The presentation, our Father who art in heaven, and what she doesn't obtain with her prayers, she obtains with her tears. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria Blagadati Polnaya Gaspodsta Boyo. Blagoslavia na tim jež dežonami i blagoslavia plačreva tvajevo Isus. Svetaja Marija Mater Boža malisa nas grešni, nini v čas smrti naši. Amen. Polish. Strovaš Marija uaski pauna pan s tebo. Bogoslavio naš tim jež za nevestami. I bogoslavioni ovoć života Tvajego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, murlše za nami kžešnimi. Teraz i v godina i šmirči naši. Amen. Spanič. Dios te salve Marija, jena rezde gracija, el Senjores contigo. 
Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahorra y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu sei benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Italian. Ave, oops, sorry, Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria Blagadati Polnaya Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavian Natimiesh de Jonami i Blagoslavian Plotshareva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria Mater Boja Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Vchas Mirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswaviona Shtimienza Nevastami i Bogoswavioni Ovad Shivota Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria Matka Boja Murushizan Amikshish Nimi. Terra Siv Gojina Ishmir Jinashi Amen Spanish. Dios de Salve Maria Yenaris de Grazia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores. Ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es conté. Tu se benedetta, fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadores. Adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc ad in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, Et in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Look at the great obedience and humility of the Queen of Heaven and Earth who bowed to the will of God she did not understand when Christ remained behind in the temple, who didn't understand his explanation, don't I need to stay in my father's house? And so she simply pondered it in her heart. In this mystery, we meditate on Pope Pius XII and his quotes that are explaining the mystery of Our Lady's queenship in his encyclical when he declared this feast day in 1954. The Pope said, From the earliest ages of the Catholic Church, a Christian people, whether in time of triumph or more especially in time of crisis, has addressed prayers of petition and hymns of praise and veneration to the Queen of Heaven. Never was that hope wavered, which they placed in the mother of the divine King, Jesus Christ, nor is that faith ever failed by which we are taught that Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, reigns with a mother's solicitude over the entire world, just as she is crowned in heavenly blessedness with the glory 
of a queen. In this matter, we do not wish to propose a new truth to be believed by Christians, since the title and the arguments on which Mary's queenly dignity is based have already been clearly set forth. From early times, Christians have believed, and not without reason, that she of whom was born the Son of the Most High received privileges and graces above all other beings created by God, and when Christians reflected upon the intimate connection that obtains between a mother and a son, they readily acknowledge the supreme royal dignity of the mother of God. The theologians of the church deriving their teaching from these early church fathers and almost innumerable other testimonies handed down long ago have called the most blessed virgin, the queen of all creatures, the queen of the world, the ruler of all. The supreme shepherds of the church have considered it their duty to promote by eulogy and exhortation the devotion of the Christian people to their heavenly mother and queen. But the Blessed Virgin Mary should be called queen not only because of her divine motherhood, but also because God has willed her to have an exceptional role in the work of our eternal salvation. What more joyful, what sweeter thought can we have? As our predecessor of happy memory, Pius XI wrote, than that Christ is our king, not only by natural right, but also by an acquitted, acquired right, that which he won by redemption. Now in the accomplishing of this work of redemption, the Blessed Virgin Mary was most closely associated with Christ. So it is fitting to sing in the sacred liturgy near the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. There stood sorrowful, the Blessed Mary, Queen of Heaven, and queen of the world. Hence, as the devout disciple Saint Anselm wrote in the Middle Ages, just as God, by making all through his power, is Father and Lord of all, so the Blessed Mary, by repairing all through her merits, is Mother and Queen of all. For God is the Lord of all things because by his command he establishes each of them in its own nature. Mary is the Queen of all things because she restores each to its original dignity through the grace which she merited through that fiat. Since we're convinced after long and serious reflection that great good will accrue to the church if this solidly established truth shines forth more clearly to all, like a luminous lamp raised aloft, by our apostolic authority, we decree and establish the Feast of Mary's Queenship, which is to be celebrated every year in the whole world. We likewise ordain that on this day, the consecration of the human race to the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary be renewed, cherishing the hope that through such consecration, a new era may begin, joyous in Christian peace and in the triumph of religion. In some countries of the world, there are people who are unjustly persecuted for professing their Christian faith, who are deprived of their divine and human rights to freedom. Up till now, reasonable demands and repeated protests have availed nothing to remove these evils. May the powerful queen of creation, whose radiant glance banishes storms and tempests, brings back cloudless skies, Look upon these, her innocent and tormented children, all over the world, with eyes of mercy. May the Virgin Mary, who is able to subdue violence beneath her foot, grant to them that they may soon enjoy the rightful freedom to practice a religion openly, so that while serving the cause of the gospel, they may also contribute to the strength and progress of nations by their harmonious cooperation by the practice of extraordinary virtue, which they are a glowing example in the midst of bitter trials. So at the end of this rosary, we'll renew that consecration like the Pope asked, and we offer this mystery again for persecuted Christians. The finding in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Now the Hail Holy Queen is a prayer in honor of Our Lady's Queenship. And we pray it with great confidence. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy Mother of God that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
we may imitate what it contains and obtain all that it promises through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. And before we go on to our other prayers, Pope Pius, when he declared this feast of the Queenship of Mary, asked that a consecration be prayed. And he said, all people according to their state should strive to bring alive the wondrous virtues of our heavenly queen and most loving mother through constant effort of mind and manner. Thus will it come about that all Christians in honoring and imitating their sublime queen and mother will realize that they are truly brothers and with all envy and avarice thrust aside will promote love among classes respect the rights of the weak, and cherish peace. No one should think himself a son of Mary, worthy of being received under her powerful protection, unless like her he is just, gentle, pure, and shows a sincere desire for true brotherhood, not harming or injuring, but rather helping and comforting others. And then there's a consecration prayer to Our Lady the Queen that we'll pray. Most Holy Virgin Mary, tender mother of all, to fulfill the desires of the Sacred Heart and the request of the Vicar of your Son on Earth, we consecrate ourselves and our families to your sorrowful and immaculate heart, O Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. And we recommend to you all the people of all of the countries of the world. Please accept our consecration, dearest mother. Use us as you wish to accomplish your designs in this world, to crush Satan. O sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of the world, Queen of heaven and earth, rule over us together with the sacred heart of Jesus, Christ our King. Rule over our homes and property our families and relationship, our work and ministries, our vocations. Save us from the spreading flood of modern paganism. Enkindle in our hearts and homes the love of purity, the practice of a virtuous life, an ardent zeal for souls and the desire to pray the rosary more faithfully. We come with confidence to you, O throne of grace and mother of fair love, Inflame us with the same divine fire which has inflamed your own sorrowful and immaculate heart. Make our hearts and homes your shrine, and through us make the heart of Jesus Christ together with yours rule triumph, rule and triumph in every heart and home in the world. Amen. And we pray our prayer to St. Joseph. O oh, St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O oh, St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession. Obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. So having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O St. Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss as I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O St. Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares. Approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. 
St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim and Cherubim, Thrones and Dominions, Virtues, Powers, Principalities, Archangels and Guardian Angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirit, who prowl about the world, seeking the rule of souls. Amen. Angels, come Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our side, to light and guard, to rule, to protect, to defend, to enlighten, and to guide. Amen. St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the earth, sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizard saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, Drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, jealousy, competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride. Against disobedience, disrespect, profanity, fear and worry, greed, misunderstanding, confusion, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference and unfaithfulness and against every other evil that could come against me or those for whom I'm praying, so there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise. Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me. Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. We pray for the souls who have died, those in our families, our friends, those who've lived in our homes that were benefactors, those we've worked for, those in most need of prayer, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May your soul, may their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus. In union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, 
sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. And we pray to the Holy Spirit because it's Monday. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms, shine. You of comforters the blessed, you the soul's most welcomed guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stain of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtues, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. And the consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. I pray with all of my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought. Grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice, following your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you. I ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood, adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Prayers for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may, be, may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and may overcome with courage the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. And the litany of the Holy Spirit. Lord of mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord of mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Father, all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father of mercy on us, ray of heavenly light of mercy on us, author of all good of mercy on us, source of heavenly water of mercy on us, consuming fire of mercy on us, ardent charity of mercy on us, spiritual unction of mercy on us, spirit of love and truth of mercy on us, spirit of wisdom and understanding of mercy on us, spirit of counsel and fortitude of mercy on us, 
spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us, spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us, spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us, spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us, spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us, Holy Spirit, the Comforter of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit, who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful. Enkindle in them the fire of thy love, let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit may enlighten and flame and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew, making us fruitful in good works, through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee in the unity of the same spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, Make our hearts like unto thine. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, pray for us. Queen of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of the Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Infant queen of our hearts, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. So a couple of things. If you liked all of those meditations on the Queenship of Mary, they're in this consecration book, House of Gold. If you get it today, you still have time to combine the preparation and to consecrate yourself to the infant heart of Our Lady, our infant queen, on the feast of September 8th, which is the feast of her birthday, you'd be joining people all over the world. So get this book, House of Gold. It's on Amazon. And read through it, pray through it, and give yourself, to have the courage to give yourself to that innocence of Our Lady. If you like the prayers that we pray every day here, Mornings with Mary, they're always in this book. You can get it on Amazon. So if I'm not here, then you can pray it without me, right? And I ask and I beg for donations today. If God is nudging you in the smallest way, please answer it. We are doing big projects in Pakistan, in Nigeria, in Uganda, and we're about to do more in Central America. And so it's very important that we get, you know, the final donations together and then we can launch some of this. Please be generous. Please. I'm begging on behalf of those who are killed for their faith um, that we give them this connection of, of prayer and spiritual food um, in what is for some of them the last days of their lives, right? Okay. Thank you. Please pray for me and my needs and intentions, and know that I'm praying for you. God bless you.